Welcome by Sing Set Change the World, House of Money, Classy Dannenberg. Today I talk about the history of the barcodes. Barcodes are very important. Today, um, you go in the supermarket, you buy a product and you have there a barcode. Hello and welcome by Sing Set Change the World, House of Money, Classy Dannenberg. Today I'm Talk about the history from of the barcodes. All truth, we don't give them much special attention now. The barcodes um, that we see around us all time today mm, didn't even access uh, our fate this decades ago. We still explore some of the history of barcoding and who it came to the stage it is at today. Early history. It was retail applications which drove the early technological um, developments of the barcoding. No. But industrial applications soon followed. Wallace Splint was the first person to suggest an automatic checkout system in 1932. Um, and all truth, Flint's system was economically unfeasibly. It was an important step towards the barcodes we have today. Forty years later, Flint as feeds the president of the National Association of Food Canes supported the offers which led to the Uniform Project Code, the UPC. Social codes formats were development in the 1940s, 1950s and the 1960s. Included a bull's eye code, numeral code and the various formats of barcodes. In ETL uses of barcodes, serious efforts um, towards automatic and supermarket point of sale started in the late 1960s and began in the 1972 uh, Kruger store in Cincinnati. Operated using a bullseye code committee. Meanwhile a committee was formed within the grocery industry to select a standard court to be used in the industry. Proposed sales were sold from various interested parties and on April 3, 1973, the committee select the UPC symbol based on the per proposed sale from IBM as the industry standard. The success of the system size um, then has spurred on the development of other coding systems, computers and barcodes. As computer systems have become more advanced Barcodes have become even more prevalent in our society. No, many retail stores, from supermarkets to hardware stores, uh, use barcodes, and they are used um, in many industrial and military applications as well. With ever increasing use, many companies have developed software to generate and manipulate barcodes. So, this was Things That Change the World, How to My V, Cassie Donnerberg, and I hope you enjoy. See you next time. Bye. Was ever in. Oh. Oh, God, it's not.
cool as what? Great word. Increasing. Increasing. Increasing.